Hello to the all. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are in this big and beautiful and gray and depressing earth. I hope you're having a blessed day. Love, grace, and peace to you all. This day is April 1st. It's commonly known as April Fool's Day. And on this day, about a year ago now, I became, well, I like to say I became a believer, but it's more like I came into a realization of the truth. This time last year, I used to believe that Jesus is God. I used to believe that Jesus Christ was his own God and Father. I didn't come into the full understanding of right division. So you could say that today is the day that I became a believer one year ago. I don't know the exact day that I became a believer, but I'd like to say that it's April 1st because I think that it's funny. God revealed to me on that day that I am the Lord's fool. And I still am. A year later, I am still a fool. But I know the truth now. I know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, not God himself. And I understand that Paul is the apostle for us right now. It's not Mark or Luke or John or Matthew. It is the apostle Paul, which is our apostle for today. God locked me up into the stubbornness of vanity, into the stubbornness of pride for all of my life. And then he was gracious to me by unlocking me from the stubbornness into the truth, a true understanding of the truth. And I know that every single one of you, my brothers and sisters from all over the earth, have the exact same story. It might not be identical to mine, but you guys and gals were locked up into the same blindness and stubbornness that I was. This grace and this mercy that we were shown, we are to show to the rest of humanity, to all those who are locked up into the same stubbornness that we were. Let's go out there to every single person, to those who antagonize us, to those who hate us, to all the Christians and atheists and people of the world, to all those who antagonize us and hate us, to all those who cause us to be angry with them, to all those people, to go out there and love them, the same love that was given to us through Christ. I don't care if they hate you and slander you and mock you. Yes, they will frustrate you. They were made that way by God himself. They were put on our path to test us, to test our patience, so that we may grow in the realization of God and his Christ. Paul says to become imitators of God as beloved children. I like to look back on my experience of being a Christian, of being locked up into stubbornness and believing in hell and free will and the Trinity and all these things. And I like to look back on those times and just think, wow, God has pulled me out a lot of lies. And he didn't have to do that. That was totally by his grace. Of course, I was pre-designated to come into the truth. But in the relative sense, he didn't have to. He could have just left me in the mire, like just rolling around in the mud, and I would be blind and locked up into vanity. But he didn't. He was gracious to me. Now I want to show that same grace of my God and Father to all of humanity. I want to show it to those who do not yet know my God and Father. And that same desire is being rooted and grounded in all of my sisters and brothers all across the world. Let's go out there. Let's go out there into the world to those who we encounter, to those who God will put on our path and show them the same love and grace that we were shown. The same love and grace which unlocked us from the stubbornness of vanity and delusion and false doctrines. Let's understand that it's not their fault. Yes, they will frustrate us and trust me, I've encountered a lot of people in my year of being a believer who have frustrated me to no end, who just did not see reason. Well, guess what? I was like that a year ago. I was the exact same way. So let's remind ourselves of that before we insult them or call them an idiot. Because we too are fools. I am the Lord's fool. April 1st, last year, God revealed to me that I am the Lord's fool. And so are you. So love, grace, and peace to you all. Let's go out there and love all of humanity.